hi guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new hi i'm sin and welcome to my channel and in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how i got this hairstyle oh y'all this right here was just something crazy but it still came out cute but not what i thought but anyway so yeah these are all the things that i use everything will be listed down below excuse my phone y'all everything will be listed down below that i use that's why i'm not calling it out because i'm showing you what it looks like you know and i'm gonna type it out so right here i had not already started which was what i was showing you guys and i was like i'm gonna just record it so you can see if it if it's a fail whatever you know if it actually goes good i got some content you know so let's go but i can say one thing y'all that gel did not hold my hair at all like, my hair puffed up as soon as I put it on. And I was just like, oh, this is a waste. I couldn't get it slick for nothing. I caught myself trying to show y'all how to do it. And I can't even freaking do it. So, <laughs> I just don't understand. But, yeah, I had meant to get the comb that you can do the um, locks with and stuff like that. Like, retwist. as you can see, I just was trying to do it with a comb that I had. But I wanted the little combs to help. But I had to just make it do it with my hands. So, this is the twist hair that I use, like I said. And I'm showing you guys up close. So, this is the correct way to wrap it. But just to um, tell you where I went wrong, when I went to actually twist them together, I needed to hold my finger up under the loop as I twist so that it can actually entwine to the twist. I was just twisting it. And, you know, it wasn't actually staying in my hair. It was coming out. So, that's just... A tip if I explained it great. I don't know. I'm bad at explaining things. So I'm going to just let you guys kind of watch right here. And then I try to show y'all right here how I did it. I don't know, you know, if you can see that good or not. But this time it actually stayed in. And I was like, yes, thank you. So, yeah, I made it work this time somehow. And then when I got to the end, all I did to wrap it was I just held it in my fingers, bent the hair backwards, and then twisted it in the same direction that I was twisting. Twisting already, I twisted it up until I got it to like the length that I had wanted that little ball piece to be. And I just kept wrapping up and down, added some gel to make it kind of sticky. And that's just what I kept doing to the hair ran out. And then I kind of like palm rolled it in my hand to just make it more polished looking so that's how you know i did those i don't even know what to call them but like little bead balls at the end of the twist And I really thought I was doing something like, look, like that thing was so slick at first. Like, it did not stay like that. And I was just so disappointed. <laughs> so disappointed because I really expected it to, like, slick my hair. Maybe I did it wrong. Because when a stylist do it, it worked. But it didn't work when I did it. <laughs> And it's the fact that I got these big ass parts with these little ass twists. Like, literally, y'all. As I was like wearing the twist, I would go and split the um twist in half and um just add like more twists to my hair because my hair was just so thin, y'all. I was making huge parts and my twists were small. So I know next time I will make them smaller because I would like to wear them like mini twists but not small like some medium size um mini twists so definitely next time i will not make my parts that big
this is probably the only twist that got close to looking like an actual invisible lock. <laughs> That twist looked good. That one I actually did good on. I just had to come in and give myself my flowers. You know, yeah. It's really the commitment for me. Because y'all really, before the old me, I probably would have never finished. I would have just gave up. I would have been like, oh my gosh, this is, I don't think this is no good. But y'all, it really did come out cute. It really did. So I'm glad that I actually committed and stayed true and actually finished. Go me. And so once I got done, I had took some foam and that spritz in that bottle. I just put it in a small bottle. But I just put the foam all over the top of my head and took the spritz and put it on top of that. Why? I just felt like I seen some stylists do that before, so I just decided to try it. <laughs> but anyway, when I did that, I used the blow dryer to try to go ahead and dry it. I wish I had my hoodie dryer, but I'm not going to burn it in the house. So I just used this little dryer right here. And I actually got that from Goodwill, y'all. It was like, what, I think $2 maybe yeah go to goodwill but anyway after that i put my do-rag on and then i tied it and I, I pulled the twist down to try to let them like dry stretched so that they can like really sit on my shoulder and then i put a bonnet on top of that and i went to sleep so then i took this little argan oil yeah i was getting ready to go to work this day so i had took the argan oil and y'all honestly it really did look good I really just wish that I would have had more twists. Like, I really don't know why in the world I made my hair look so thin. But, really, it just looked like a regular twist out. So, I was just like, okay, I could still wear it. It'll be fine. But, it was cute. A lot of people was telling me that it was cute. So, either way it go, I still got me a hairstyle out of it. But, this was a style that I really was trying to go for. So, even though my twists didn't look like hers, I still try to put them in that style. And it still came out cute. So, I appreciate my little hairdo. And I wore it for like two weeks. And it was cheap. A pack of hair was $8.99. And I only used one pack and still had hair left over. So, I could still redo it and add more hair to it. So, I recommend it. I say just try it. You never know what you'll get out of it. So, yeah, but this is the end of this video. If you guys liked it, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Hopefully, I will see you guys in my next video. Comment down below. Give me some constructive criticism. Help me for the next time. You know, let me know how you feel. Talk to me. Yeah, but hopefully, I'll see you guys in the next video. This is Cindy signing off. Peace.